We visit some families that are affected heavily by the ocean orange. Now we are heading to the first family. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. After a long walk, we finally get to the house and are left inside my grandfather. The house has nothing except for a bed and a child on that. This kid is ten brother. He is mentally and physically disabled. Little Tom is mentally and physically visible as well, but he's a really smart kid. His dream is to learn computer, but with his condition, dream is just a dream. So goodbye to the house. We head to family number two, where there are three out of six members are affected by Asian orange. Interestingly, we can join in the sticky rice making procedure with them, although they just allow us to clean the leaves. Yeah. And we even pick grass and hoe, but we're just too busy figuring out how to do it, so there is no one can be the cameraman then. Head to the third family, we meet this old lady who used to be one of the richest person in the area with two normal and serious children. But everything gone when her son and her daughter respectively on set. Now she is 76 years old with her 73 years old sister have to take care of these two Asian orange victims. The central staff goes with her set. We worry that once this lady passes away, no one can take care of them. There are thousands of situations like this out there and the Vietnamese Asian Orange Association along with the government can have no way to have people to take care of them 24 hours a day like this. 